This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. The views expressed on the following show are not necessarily those of WPSL. However, we do encourage liking and sharing these shows on your favorite social network and with all your friends and neighbors because Joanne's Nutrition World in downtown Fort Pierce presents at this time Joanne's World of Nutrition with Joanne Seeger. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope everyone's having an incredible morning. I have had such a weekend. Oh, I can't wait to tell my listeners about it. So, you know, I'm the youngest of eight. And sometimes, I think ever since, like, my parents passed away, getting together became a little more difficult as each uh, family member uh, started kind of, I don't know, exploring the U.S. and having, you know, children of their own. It got more difficult to have get-togethers. But my niece got married on Sunday, and it was so awesome because it's a local wedding versus me having to go to another state. And all the family came into town, so we had the best time ever. But this led to the topic of the day because I noticed with tons of us 120 of us everyone kept talking about their eyes and I think it was because you know some people were trying to look at images of of children and grandchildren and you know everyone kept talking about what uh, prescription they had and what their eye issues were and what surgeries they had so I was like you know what I think this is a very popular subject, right? <laughs> are there supplements that you take that are good for your eyes? Yes, well, I they have to stay tuned, sir, because that doesn't come to the end of the hour. Oh, yes. the hook. Um, yeah. The hook. But what I really did realize is that, you know, in this whole 120 group, right, there's all different people, all different philosophies. Not everyone believes what I believe. So I wanted to do some research. And what I found found I had some aha moments so I'm hoping if when I share them with the audience and even my, when my husband was listening with me he's like wow did you know that you know like <laughs> <laughs> and some parts I did but I didn't really because um I don't know it's just it, I didn't put the whole story together so I'm hoping I do a good job where the audience um can understand vision a little bit better and not um wait um, until they go to the doctor to discover they have an issue. You know, the one key note with every show is prevention. So no matter what fears you have or any genetics that you think might come into play with your future, prevention is always the key. So that is number one. So most of the show is going to be about prevention, but if you have been diagnosed with any eye issues, um, we will cover that at the end on natural solutions if you have been diagnosed. So we must do the breath work first, though, sir. I almost forgot. Oh okay, so we are still in April. Wow, this feels like a really long month. All right. And in case you forgot, I'll remind you, we are going to do the two quick inhales. Okay, so two in and then another two in only using our nose. And then do, we'll do a nice eight count out. Was that what we did the, the other times? Right. And the first two, you don't stop when you get to that two seconds in the first one, then you continue. Yes. Kind of like when you're blowing increase. up a balloon, right? But just yeah. the opposite where you really want to inflate all the air sacs of your lungs. You really mm -hmm. want to give them some work. Let's, let's, really exercise the lungs this morning we'll only do two rounds but continue on i i challenge you to continue on the entire show i know that sounds crazy it's an hour but really you can do it and what a great exercise for your lungs bring in more oxygen get rid of the stress mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. are we ready sir are we ready for the first round all right, only relax two rounds. your shoulders yes. yeah okay and i'm ready here we go for the two the first two and then the second two right together one Two, again, one, keep going to the release. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, one, two, increase. One, two, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. I'm I'm become that's becoming my favorite. I really do like that one. That extra stretch. Yeah, it, it feels like really like an intense exercise for the lungs. Like you really open them up and get them working. It'll help so. your oxygen count. Right. Yeah. And guess what's good for the eyes? Oxygen, right? Ooh. So that is the number one first preventive tip. Get more breath work in. Right, Oxygen's free, available free. to everyone. Air, yeah. You know, pick different uh, places to do your breath work on the patio, out in the front yard. You know, just don't do indoor breath work. <laughs> you don't want that indoor air pollution getting into your lungs. But really, the eyes. You know, we sometimes take body parts for granted. Um, I definitely do. And it's not until we get um, some challenges that we're like, wait, what's going on? And sometimes months can go by, if not years, before we take it seriously and we start taking action. So I really um, want you to know the steps that we're going to go over today are really easy. They're really easy to keep your eyes in the best health and prevent damage. Um, there are experts that say that the beginning stages of any eye condition are not known to us. We do not see it happening. We do not feel it happening. Um, by the point of us realizing something's wrong with our vision or our eyes or any area around our eyes, um, it usually has been kind of um, taking action for years before we notice. So I would say, let's just put these tips into each and all of our lives, just in case, right? Yeah. It won't hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the one thing um, that I like is stories, right? And all my listeners know I love stories. I feel like stories can relate us um, to maybe something in our lives or so a loved one. And we can repeat the story where when you know it happened to someone else, you're like, okay, then I can get help for this. And as a person in the health field, I went to just a regular vision exam, which I did for fun when I was younger. I never usually, um, I had to have my kids' vision checked for school, so I would make these really inexpensive appointments, you know, oh, free eye exam this month. It, it maybe cost me, you know, up to $50 at the most, so I did them for fun. And... And again, prevention, because the, the ophthalmologist, um, the eye doctors can see things way before we can. So I'm sitting in the chair, and all of a sudden, she started triple checking her work, um, which she had never done did before. So I was like, hmm, what's going on? It's kind of like when you're getting like a scan and an ultrasound and all of a sudden the technician just stops at that one spot and you're looking like, what's going on? Oh, oh, we'll discuss it later. And I'm like, okay. So yep, she checked three times and all of a sudden she had that sit down with me. And I'm like, what the heck? You know, everything has always been perfect. Oh, you had 2020. Everything's great. Well, at that meet, at that sit down, she said I had not only did I need a prescription at this point for my vision, but I also had signs of cataracts and macular degeneration. Now, I'm thinking, um, let's see at this point, I, it was about seven years ago, I'm 55, so you guys do the math, and I was really upset. I was like, as, as soon as she said that one, if she hadn't been my regular doctor who I trusted um, for these previous years, I would have questioned it and wanted to get a second opinion, which you should always do because sometimes either the machines can be faulty or the person might just be having a bad day and not be accurate. So always, <laughs> if something comes out of the blue, triple check, okay? But I trusted her um, and... I was confused because I was like, why, like how all of a sudden? But this was right after, no coincidence, that both my parents had passed away um, and I went through a very challenging divorce. And if you've been my listener for many years, you know all about it, right? <laughs> so, so I'm like, hmm, what an interesting concept. I had all this extra stress. I definitely made worse choices, um, you know, enjoyed a little much too wine and my uh, sleeping patterns were 
off and my food choices were definitely off and my stress was definitely at level 10. So there we go. The eyes took the brunt of my decisions. I, they send me to this specialist, um, and it wasn't just one specialist. This was fancy schmancy place um, close by in the next city, and they did all these tests, nothing that I had ever seen before. They were very thorough, and it was kind of awesome because they said, well, you're so young that you could be part of our pilot study, and that's why we're doing all this for free. And I was like, oh, great. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm sitting, taking all these tests, and then once again, I had that sit-down moment in the back office, and this woman has this big stack of reports of all of the little tests that I had just taken. She said, well, I really think you should be part of this study because you really, for your age, show a lot of signs of um, issues with your eyes that we really want to see how it progresses. So I said, so you mean the study is just watching the progression of this? Is it... Are you going to talk to me about prevention or any, um, you know, tools or tricks to, you know, stop this? And she says, oh, no, we don't have those things. Um, you know, there are surgeries when it progresses um, that you can do and injections and so on. So everything that she suggested was either about prescriptions or surgeries. And I said, you have no other lifestyle tips or nothing she's like no and she says and you have to be here every single morning at 10 a.m well at that point of course i still had the store and i opened at 10 so i was like well that won't work so i politely said thank you for all the testing i really appreciate it but i won't be involved in the study and the whole drive home i'm like this is crazy there has to be something to help me so all these things don't further progress so I kind of um, put it on the back table because, again, I was at level 10 stress. So when you're at that type of stress level, you don't think correctly. You don't discipline yourself. At least I wasn't. Um, so I was being challenged. But I did start taking grapeseed extract, and I did start using the infrared sauna. Well, lo and behold, um, a year later, it did take a year, okay, I started putting my glasses down and not needing them to focus on things um, like people coming in the front door or uh, what products were on the displays that were maybe 20 feet away from me. And then it wasn't until... Um, other family members noticed and said, maybe you should get your eyes checked again. I think they're changing. So I went back and she kind of assumed that I had done whatever that fancy place um, was suggesting. And she did all the um, eye exams and she said, wow, this is it, actually, I apologize. It was a more s sophisticated doctor. I'm going to call him come for a fancier place. It was a gentleman. It wasn't the same female doctor. And he said, okay, all you need is uh, readers, a low, uh, low reader. And I said, well, what do you mean? What about macular, uh, cataracts, um, all these things? He said, no, your eyes look fantastic. They're great. And other than a light reader, that's all you need. Well, <laughs> I kind of took a deep breath and I said, well, there must be something to this, right? Because I wasn't taking any vision formulas. I wasn't intending to do anything for my vision, but I was taking grapeseed extract. So I looked into it and I researched it and I was doing the infrared sauna. Sure enough, both things have clinical research to help improve eyesight and vision and stop the progression of most eye conditions. So again, that is a personal story that I do have documented. Um, so there is hope. So at any stage you're at, do not give up, have hope. And most doctors, when you see them for really any condition, it doesn't matter if it's arthritis, heart disease, vision loss, they usually don't approach the conversation about diet, lifestyle, stress, exercise. Um, Sometimes I don't fault them because a lot of people, um, we have our walls up, we have our boundaries where we don't want to talk about our choices because we get very defensive. I get defensive too. And it is definitely um, this human characteristic that puts 
ourselves at risk. And I wish we could be more open minded about having this discussion with our doctors because there are many cutting edge doctors, whether it was through their own personal life experience or um, other colleagues that they did discover that lifestyle, not just exercise and not just diet, but stress, emotional help, all our thought processes do play the biggest role in our health, especially our vision and our eye health um, than we ever believed. But again, one timing, maybe they don't have the time through insurance protocols to sit down with you and go over all of it, but it's all there. Um, in the last 40 years, I would say the person that is the most popular um, in the eye world as far as showing you alternatives uh, for yourself and not just talking about prescription drugs and surgery. And he is an eye surgeon, so I think that's awesome and it's incredible. And it was through his journey with arthritis that he realized that the more things that he did to keep his inflammatory process down and his oxidative stress in his body, eyes improved. So his name, if you want to look, um, I'm going to go over some of his work um, this morning, but there are hours and hours, not only on his website, but his podcasts that you might want to um, really dig deeper if you are um, being challenged with any eye issues at all. So his name is Dr. Chris Nobe, K-N-O-B-B-E. He has a website, www.cureamd.org. So C-U-R-E-A-M-D.org. And he's a doctor of op ophthalmology and an eye physician and an eye surgeon. Um, so he definitely has the credibility. And he basically says the biggest issues with eye health is vegetable oils. And I have approached this subject before on other shows, but vegetable oils are becoming a real big problem with human health. It is, let's just start with what I love, what he calls them, factory fats. So when you call them vegetable oils, most people, and there are a lot of dietary groups, just like when I went to school, like the sugar industry, the dairy industry, all these groups really subsidize the education program for dietetics and nutrition. And this is definitely the case right now. So there are leading institutions that will say, oh, vegetable oils are still extremely safe and beneficial. But those same people that told us margarine was safe, hydrogenated oils, trans fats, um, have gotten us into such a predicament, especially with heart disease, still increasing and being the number one killer in the world. So vegetable oils, um, he has research and spent, I think it's two decades now, um, gathering information and working with people day in and out on how destructive vegetables, vegetable oils are for human health. So the question um, is, well, is any amount a good amount? And unfortunately, the answer is no. So there are uh, many people that find that it's in every product they're purchasing. So they might say to themselves, well, if it's in every product that I'm buying from the supermarket shelves, it has to be okay. Like, why would they let the, it be in every product? Well, they let us put trans fats and hydrogenated oils in every product until it was enough information where they finally shut that system down, which is still trickling in our food supply, still trying to work its way out. But vegetable oils as are as dangerous and for the rest of the show I am going to call them factory fats so you don't think in your mind for just even a second that healthy vegetables had anything to do with what um, that factory fat is the between um, what it's so say it starts from a lot of the labels will say soy oil, corn oil, canola oil, rice bran oil, peanut oil. And I definitely 
was turning to them when I was trying to find healthy alternatives 30 years ago. It was the normal thing that I think most of us did, especially if you were trying to find find vegan products, like if you would get a butter. Well, instead of the healthy grass-fed butter that was naturally intact with all these healthy oils, you would buy these vegetable spreads. And these vegetable spreads with these factory fats damage the mitochondria of every cell. And in damaging that, you will find, because if you think about it, the eyes, you when someone's a diabetic or they have any other circulatory illness, whether it be sugar-induced or any other reason, the eyes always take the impact, right? You you get very nervous um, about not only the circulatory function and having amputation, but possibly losing your vision. So they thought it was only glucose. It was definitely glucose and uh, insulin-resistant, but this is where the aha moment came for me is basically the vegetable oils damage the mitochondria of the cell, and there's multiple mitochondria, not just one, and it damages all of it. And in doing so, insulin resistance develops because insulin resistance, just like what happens with glucose, it's damaging the process from knowing what should come in and out of a cell and how to regulate. So it's a very simple process that the body does, you know, billions of times a day. But if the mitochondria are destroyed for whatever reason, okay, it definitely um, has a huge impact on the vision. It's extremely toxic and it has no nutrition. So definitely understand that, that any vegetable oils, factory fats, they do not have any nutrition for the human body and they only cause harm. One of the research papers that he did was showing that in developing countries where their sugar was low but their vegetable oil was high, they still had the insulin resistance and the damage to the retina as if they were diabetic and they had their sugars low. So that was evidence that it just takes mitochondrial dysfunction and not having um, that insulin um, go back and forth properly that will cause as much, if not more, vision issues than having full-on diabetes for many years. That's a little scary. I can't believe we're already at the halfway mark. So I'm gonna take a breath. We're gonna go into a break. And when we come back, we are going to talk about more disorders of the eyes and how to prevent them or also some solutions if you're already being diagnosed with some of them. All right, guys, we'll be right back and I'll talk to you soon. Hi, this is Joanne from Nutrition World and Wellness Center. I am really excited to introduce new guests and topics to my show every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. here on WPSL, where my listeners can call in on any topic. If I don't know the answer, I'll try to find it. We want to help you become the best version of yourself. We'll have nature paths, coaches. I am looking forward to sharing my years of experience with my listeners so we can enjoy this life journey together. Visit Joanne's Nutrition World in the Kraz Square, formerly known as the Arcade Building, located at US 1 and Orange Avenue, across from Fort Pierce City Hall. Open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4, Saturdays 10 to 3. Taking appointments for the Wellness Center online at joannesnutritionworld.com or call 772-464-3598. Is your business back open 100%? Having trouble hiring a staff? Let WPSL, WSTU, and La Gigante help you fill those jobs in English and Spanish. Call us 340-1590 for details. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. We now return to Joanne's World of Nutrition, brought to you by Nutrition World, hosted by Joanne Seeger. Hey, everyone. Thanks for spending some time with me this morning. I really appreciate all my listeners. The topic of the morning is eye health. Um, There's, you know, 
lots to know about the eyes, and I'm definitely not an expert. But there are some times that whether, like we talked about stories or when customers come in and tell me amazing news that something, whether it would be a supplement or dietary change or both, helped correct an issue that they said couldn't be corrected, I pay attention. And, you know, the eyes, we definitely don't want to take them for granted, right? We want to see clearly, not worry about, gosh forbid, losing our eyesight. So I'm mentioning Dr. Chris Nob. Um, he is a doctor of ophthalmology, an eye physician, an eye surgeon. I'm kind of following his work for the show this morning because I feel like he has the credentials, he has the years, and he had a personal experience. Um, and when you have personal experiences, especially with inflammatory um, processes that cause severe illness, like for him, it was debilitating arthritis. You really get passionate about changes and like, wow, I never knew this. I can't believe this did this. Um, so we're talking about factory fats, which are vegetable oils like soy, corn, canola, cottonseed, peanut, rice brand, um, and how damaging they are. They're poisonous. They're toxic. There's nothing good about them. In the human body, each day, we only need 0.5 grams of omega-6. Omega-6 do come from these type of products that I just mentioned, but that is naturally occurring in like, for instance, if you have olives, okay, you would just eat a few olives. Um, you can do these naturally for food. You do not have to con um, take an oil which has been far removed from the natural omega-6. So when I speak of the omega-6, I am not saying even do a half a gram of the vegetable oils, the factory fats, because that's still toxic, poisonous, and damaging. Do it naturally occurring. So like we sell omega-6 um, supplements that's called Total Omega. So you get the perfect blend of omega-3, which should be six times the amount of omega-6, where you get the healthy versions of omega-6. But any oil that you buy or any that you see in a processed food product is the poison stuff, the toxic stuff. So you want to stay away from it, which leads me to the conversation about eliminating certain food groups that cause circulatory problem and vision issues, and that is carbohydrates. And carbohydrates do include the glucose conversation. So you might have heard maybe one time or a million times in your life, you should cut your sugar way down. You should lower your carbohydrates. It's all processed. It's all enriched. Um, there's no health benefits to eating processed uh, carbohydrates, okay? So vegetables are carbohydrates. So we are not speaking about those. We are talking about processed carbohydrates. Well, sometimes when people have a tendency towards processed products and they're really doing uh, well to try to correct their choices and they go, well, I'm going to go on the keto diet and or the paleo and I see all these yummy cupcakes and wow, it says no sugar. Um, and it's keto compliant, right? So you get excited because it's another convenient food that looks delicious and kind of suits you to what you're trying to give up in the sugar world or the carbohydrate world. Well, the problem is those food manufacturers are not stupid. They know what you're looking for and they know what taste that you normally like. But what is in all those processed low carb foods? factory fats. So let's just think of avoiding all processed foods if possible, because you want to, whether it says keto, no sugar, you want to read the ingredients. I have mentioned this for since day one on the show, that marketing companies know what you're looking for Every day, they spend thousands of hours and millions of dollars to fool you to let you think their product is what you need for your health. 
but your health is never what's on their mind. Not once, not for one second. They want to sell their product and they want it to be able to sit on the grocery store shelves indefinitely without going bad. So that is their objective. It's not your health. So be very careful when you do um, decide to go on the journey of low carb carb <laughs> I applaud you it, it's a difficult journey but it's worth it um, even lowering your grams of carbohydrates 10 grams a day is definitely a great goal but every day you lower your carbs you still need to be uh, knowledgeable and challenge yourself to do no vegetable oils, okay? No factory fats. So there comes the question about the healthy oils. So we're going to start with olive oil. I don't know if the listeners remember the show I did about honey, but I it broke my heart to do that show because honey, which once was an amazing health food, like a miracle food, had tremendous health benefits, has gotten... Um, so uh, destroyed um, through not only um, the lack of the quality honey, where all of a sudden they're using high fructose corn syrup or other syrups that are processed to make something um, a commodity that there's enough of it for the world um, or cheaper, whatever the reason, there's many reasons, but the same thing is happening to olive oil. Okay. So olive oil, 70% of the olive oils that are in most stores are not what they appear to be. So they do have factory fats added to them, whether it be um, for money, whether it be for stability, um, whatever the reason is, 70% of the olive oils do have factory fats added into them. And you know how you know is because there's only a handful of ones that don't and they're about three times the price of the ones that you might buy at the supermarket. Um, I sell Dr. Mercola's at my store. Um, it is from a biodynamic farm and it tastes good. Some of the healthy olive oils have quite a bite to them, which they say is the polyphenols, which makes it super healthy, which polyphenols are incredible for the eyes. But still, you want to be very cautious of your oils. Um, if you're buying healthy ones like avocado, coconut oil, olive oil, I say just eat the food. Don't worry about the oil. Like just put the olives on top of your salad instead of the olive oil. Um, unless you can uh, do some research and choose a high polyphenol olive oil that probably will cost double if not triple what the olive oil that you might be buying right now. Okay, so a lot more information to go, so let's go to it. So vision loss, if you are experiencing, like I mentioned early, it's already was happening years before. So you've got to take action and you've got to take action fast. So that's where you want to take vitamin A. Vitamin A will be one that I'm going to discuss with every vision issue because vitamin A is so good for the eyes. It's naturally found in cod liver oil. Cod liver oil is incredible because it has the vitamin A and D naturally occurring it and vitamin K, which are all those fat soluble vitamins that the brain and the eyes, remember the brain and eyes, let's just say is one, okay? And it eats it up. It loves those amazing fatty acids. So vitamin A, grass-fed butter, um, uh, pasteurized, um, pasteurized, pasture raised chicken eggs. Um, the, uh, let's see what else the cod liver oil I mentioned. So organ meats, they have a lot of vitamin A. Vitamin A is different than beta carotene. Beta carotene does have a lot of, um, conversations when it comes to eye research, all the carotenoids do. Um, and that's why I'm not going to go into too much detail because you can really Google your way through all the carotenoids and how great they are. But some of us, we cannot break down different carotenoids. So when we eat 
a carrot or a purple yam or all these beautiful, colorful foods that are so good for us with the polyphenols, great for the eyes. Sometimes our bodies can't convert them where the fat soluble vitamins really go right to work and we don't have to worry so much about that conversion process. So definitely vitamin A. The next one uh, a lot of people don't think about for vision loss is copper. Um, Copper is something that I made pretty popular in the store. I had big signs um, because I felt like people really gave copper a bad rap, but it's incredible for vision as well as numerous other. I can make a whole show about copper. So if you're taking a high quality, high quality multivitamin that has minerals, you should have a little copper in there. You only need a little, but it should be in there. Or if you rather seek out like a high quality um, multi-mineral, you'll also find copper in that. So vitamin A, copper, the next one is fatty acids. So fatty acids, um, when I say that, it's usually omega-3 or omega-7, but for a vision loss, it's mainly omega-3. So like I said, you want to keep the omega-6 from food very low, but you definitely want to keep the omega-3 really high. So that is from wild caught fish. Okay. That's mainly where the omega-3 is from a little bit from flax, but that's another topic because the flax uh, does not have the EPA and the DHA like the wild fish does. So lots of great research on prevention of vision loss issues um, with the omega-3, the copper, the vitamin A, and vitamin D3, which you can get naturally in the foods that have the vitamin A in it. Okay. The next one is um, really kind of crazy because puffy eyes, right? Puffy eyes and dark circles. I have seen much more of that recently than I have ever before. Some people contributed to, okay, they're either um, not sleeping well or allergies, um, just, just the normal common things, right? But it can be something much more serious, but preventable. So hyperinsulinemia, and which is common with type 2 diabetes, is an underlying, if not the main reason, for darkness under the eyes and puffiness. And that was one of my aha moments this morning because I always thought it was kidney function. But what impairs kidney function? too much glucose and insulin resistance. So again, the whole story starts making sense. It is true. It is the kidney function. The kidneys, if they're not working up um, to, you know, 100% and the water filtration system and removing poisons is not working perfectly, you will show it around your eyes. You will have puffiness. You will have darkness. It's not just about the liver. Everyone thinks darkness, just the liver, but it is the hyperinsulinemia, insulinemia, and So again, lower those carbs, get them way down, get the processed food out of your diet and get the vegetables up. So the vegetables are a delicious carbohydrate that you tend to appreciate three days after removing the junk out of your diet because at first vegetables don't taste so great when you're really trying to make this healthy change. But just try, you know, you can put some grass fed butter on it. You can put some Himalayan salt, try to get more veggies in, especially all the different colors of the rainbow. Okay. And then you will start to appreciate them more and more every day. Okay. But you do want to get processed carbs eliminated out of your diet. There's no percentage that's healthy for refined processed carbs and factory fats. So lots of veggies, grass fed butter, wild fish. Um, that's a really healthy diet to help, um, with vision and eye health. All right. So, um, the other thing with puffy eyes that I found that work great for me. So if you don't have it chronically, so you just had like a big weekend and you wake up Monday morning and trying to start your week and go to work 
and your eyes are really puffy, you might just need some potassium. Now, what most people call it is, oh, I was drinking, so I'm dehydrated. I need some hydration. It is technically the same thing. So when you take potassium in a solution, they call it an electrolyte drink. Okay. And our body loves potassium. It helps so many different functions, but especially the kidney function and helping reduce any edema or stagnant water, especially around the eyes. So if I wake up, I will go and take my electrolyte drink that has a thousand milligrams of potassium, as well as the nice blend of all the other electrolytes. And I drink a large amount of water, a minimum of 16 ounces. Sometimes I'll even go to 32 ounces if I really dehydrated myself. And you literally can watch that puffiness go down immediately. It's absolutely incredible. But you have to hydrate yourself and you have to consider your kidneys. If you are putting too much toxic waste into your body, too many poisons, um, the kidneys are going to get overworked and they're going to get tired. So really try to appreciate them, especially if you don't like looking at this puffiness. There are so many friends that I have that spend so much money on all these under eye treatments, these fancy gels that cost $100, these masks, these um, eye masks, so many contraptions and products that cost so much money to reduce their puffiness around their eyes. But it's internal. If you don't address the issue internal, then you can spend thousands and it's still, um, other than maybe looking like there's one gel that... It's a little scary how it reduces the puffiness, but it makes you look like, I mean, you can't even crack a smile. You'll get like a line from that. Um, And so you really want to address the kidneys, hydrate your body and increase your potassium. Okay. You definitely want to increase your potassium for that. All right. The next one is I promise of some of my listeners, Cliff, that I would not run out of time this show. Okay. Um, So if I'm talking too fast, slow me down, okay? All right, so conjunctivitis, okay? So conjunctivitis probably is really annoying as far as, you know, losing your vision, definitely not, not a good thing. But conjunctivitis, it looks really bad. It feels really bad. It's not like you can work with it without your coworkers being like, uh, dude, you need to go home, right? So colloidal silver has always been my go-to for conjunctivitis, not only in my home, but with neighbors, friend, family, anyone that's um, communicated with me, Joanne, I think I have conjunctivitis. I've done the colloidal silver. Um, And it pretty much has always worked. It's incredible. So you want to buy a high quality colloidal silver. Um, some people make it at home. And so all I'm going to say is unless you really know this person and you know that they're making the correct colloidal silver, I would definitely get it from a brand that you have, um, seen over the years be trusted and, um, true to their label claims. So colloidal silver, great for conjunctivitis as well as zinc. Okay. So some of these nutrients that I mentioned, you might say, well, Joanne, you always promote food. And I know these things are in food like pumpkin seeds have lots of zinc, but at the point of already having the condition, and we're not talking about prevention, you might need more concentration of a particular nutrient to um, really make a difference. Um, So eating a handful of pumpkin seeds when you already have conjunctivitis, I'm going to pretty much say that I don't think it's going to do the trick. So you might need to take some zinc um, and the milligrams, um, you know, differs between different persons. Um, So just um, maybe start with a 20 milligram, take it with food three times a day and see how that goes. Um, Zinc always upsets my stomach. Um, So I always take with food and I only take it when necessary where others um, take it each and every day. But I do think that with minerals, they're always meant to be in one happy family, um, you know, with all of them. Um, So I try not to isolate any nutrients um, and do high doses for long periods of time. But right now I'm talking about acute situations. Um, So you can use them appropriately. The next one is the red eyes that you get from allergies. 
I'm going to go back to cod liver oil. Now, some of you might remember grandma, great grandma giving us cod liver oil. Well, it's really improved since those days. It tastes much better, but you always want to make sure, again, wild caught cod so it actually has the A, D, K, the nutrients it's supposed to have, and it's not farm-raised, which I discussed on last week's show. So you want to get wild-caught cod, and that has tons of nutrients for your overall health, but it really does help with the red eyes. Um, There is something that Matt and I tried, um, I don't know when it was, maybe a year ago, we did the fat flush. It was incredible. We both felt really good. So we basically did three days, um, not of the factory fats, not of the vegetable oils, just doing mainly um, these um, grass-fed butter, egg yolk, um, cod liver oil, and we felt incredible. And I can say that my eyes um, really felt sharp. And in three days, you really can make a difference um, with of removing the processed factory fats. But unfortunately, the research shows that it takes two years, two years to get those molecules from the factory fats out of your body. So if you decided today, you looked into this further and you were like, I'm going to discipline myself and not ever eat another drop of factory fats again. It would take two years from today before all, um, I'm going to say the damage and the residue and the molecules from those factory fats can uh, leave your body. But I believe in miracles. So maybe with putting all the different things that we talk about here in the show and other health shows um, all together, you can speed up that process because the body is miraculous and it will utilize all the tools um, that you give it. All right. The next one that I really don't have any experience. Um, Luckily, none of my clients or customers have ever mentioned that they've had this, but hemorrhaging of the eye. It sounds really awful, um, but there is information that vitamin C and vitamin K can help this. Um, And I want to make a really important note. You will see when you look up eye health that vitamin C is promoted uh, quite extensively, and it should be. But if you are still consuming sugar or refined carbohydrates, which pretty much are the same thing as sugar, that will block the absorption of vitamin C. Um, It is a known fact. And so if you're spending all your hard-earned money trying to get these high doses of vitamin C in your body, whether it be for vision, health, or other reasons, um, you are really um, still blocking it with the sugar so those receptor sites won't be able to get this beautiful vitamin C to heal it, heal the body and do all these um, miraculous things. Okay. So keep that in mind, especially if it's as serious of of an eye hemorrhage, you definitely want to be 110% with your actions. All right. The next one I definitely would say I'm entitled to talk about after menopause, what commonly happens to a lot of us females, is we get dry eyes as well as um, other dryness, other parts of the body. That's for another show. But um, the dry eyes can be really annoying. Luckily, I didn't, um, I really took action very quick when I was having my change of life. So I was blessed with a very easy transition. But my sister was just telling me over the weekend that she was using um, my supplements and she stopped her hot flashes. Her sleep is much better. Uh, She is, um, you know, her mood swings are stabilized. So her husband thanked me as well. But she had the dry eyes, which I did forget to discuss this with her. um, Because, you know, even though they're my sisters, I feel like sometimes your own family members are the last ones to get on board with your programs. So I discussed with her Omega-7, which is from sea buckthorn. I'm having great success with my female clients using Omega-7 sea buckthorn for dry eyes. 
Um, and it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It's one of Terry Naturally products, which is a money back guarantee product, even with an empty box. So I'm like, you have nothing to lose, but there's nothing more annoying than having dry eyes. Um, and usually their solution is like these, you know, prescription eye drops or non-prescription. And really you want to get a cause versus um, just doing prescription for it. But as well, just like all the other vision issues, you want to increase your wild caught fish. You want to increase your grass fed butter and grass finished. Keep that in mind. They know the trick names now. So grass fed, grass finished. Um, and also really check on your gallbladder and liver relationship with your fatty acids. The gallbladder has a real big job to do with bile and helping digest your fats down to its finest molecules. And some Sometimes if those systems are compromised or you have removed your gallbladder, your fatty acids might not be broken down properly. So if you um, consider that, there are solutions to that as well. I sell a gallbladder formula that's incredible. I take it. Um, I definitely know um, through the years that my gallbladder is one of my weak parts of my constitution that I, I address every day. Um, so you definitely want to do that. Um, the next thing is night blindness. Now, um, Burke Golding Jr., who is a regular clinical nutritionist, has a clinic in California, a regular guest on my show. He's coming in May, and he does make an incredible night blindness formula. So I'm going to go into detail um, on that subject with him. But vitamin A... Again, incredible for night blindness as well, okay? So I was definitely having an issue with that about a year ago. I even told Matt, honey, I don't even think I want to drive at night. I can't believe I'm already saying that. I hear a lot of my friends that are, you know, in their late 70s, 80s commenting, oh, I will never drive at night. It's too dangerous. I can't see. So when I started experiencing it, I was like, dick. No way, right? So, but just like the other eye issues that I told you at the beginning of the show that I had and I corrected, you know, I really um, just the grass fed butter, you know, you can add it to your coffee and make bulletproof coffee or um, like the MCT oil. You can definitely increase your healthy fats. Again, no factory fats um, and just put in more color. So blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, um, all your leafy greens. You want to vary just like um, I wrote a magazine uh, for a magazine recently you want to eat the rainbow, okay? But it also means you have to abstain from the things that damage your digestion, your digestive ability to break down all these healthy foods you're choosing, okay? So catch a breath. I covered everything, I'm pretty sure. Yay! All right, so everyone, um, if you have any questions after a show or any time after that, you can always call me at the store. Myself or my husband, Matthew, would love to talk to you about any subject. So 464-3598. The Wellness Center um, is really uh, buzzing right now. We just had a wonderful party um, of five ladies coming in, and we had so much fun. So come check out the Wellness Center. Let's Let's give you a tour, massage, infrared sauna, ion foot detox, PMF mat. For only $99, you can not only enjoy an hour massage, but you can get two other services with it. I really try to keep it affordable so people can do it awesome and feel the difference in their health. Thank you so much, everyone, and I hope everyone has an incredible week. You've been listening to Joanne's World of Nutrition, presented by Nutrition World in downtown Fort Pierce, US 1 at Orange Avenue, across from City Hall. Tune in every Wednesday morning in the 10 o'clock hour for Joanne's World of Nutrition on WPSL, Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast, webcaster to the world.